Hi everyone, welcome to Jan's Baby World Reborn. So today I want to talk about this sculpt. Um, this is um, like, and well, she's was purchased in the beginning of my collecting, but not directly in the beginning. Um, I, I don't, I don't even, maybe, I don't even know how long it could have been um, eight months or something into it, and. So we, I talked in the last video about how like when you collect and your collection starts to um, transform and you learn more things and then your collecting expectations are higher. So you're looking for maybe a better hair, better painting. And so, but even so, when you start collecting in the beginning, each baby means something and Ha does something for you and it might not be the perfect painting or the perfect texturizing on the you know the limbs because she doesn't have texture so she does have some of that like look of a shine but um when I seen her pictures and I could just tell that there was something about her and when I received her there was even more about her I loved her waiting how she was weighted. I have not changed a thing. And so even though this baby is not like perfect and her hair is a little, you know, dry and her painting is not spectacular, I still love her for different reasons. And I want to talk about a couple of the reasons. What I totally love about this baby is look at this midsection. It's like, I love when the baby's belly looks fatter like that. And I don't, I don't want to move the um, camera, so I will try to bring her up. So uh, you see what I'm talking about? Like, I just love that. And she's just, she's got that heavy head. And I totally love that. So this baby is still my little favorite. And I actually, this is one of the babies that I didn't even pass to Gianna. I kind of thought about it, but then I'm like, no, I can't. And I love even how her legs just bend. She's just like so floppy, but the waiting is amazing. And she gives such a good cuddle. Look at even like her side, her thickness over here, how it looks. And that's why I kind of like putting, um, tighter clothes on her just to show all of that so yeah this is um morgan the morgan sculpt by toby morgan i'm trying to think wait i don't think it's you know what i can't say that it's more i named her morgan because it was by toby morgan but i forgot the sculpt right now guys but it's a true born and I'm not home right now, so I have limited clothing hair for her, and I don't have her little COA. So it is Toby Morgan sculpt, and I have I want to change her, and uh, but I know some of the things are gonna be big, but I just want to do a changing, and I don't have like the right clothes here for her. So this is like a next onesie, and I know it's gonna be big, so I'm gonna see how that goes. And I have a little t-shirt for her. And then these little leggings, which actually, all oh, these are next baby also. I love them. All of my clothes I get mainly from Instagram sales. So I know these will fit her. And uh, maybe I'll do a hat, but I'm going to brush her hair so you guys could also see her hair. But I will say that when I do pictures of her on Instagram, she gets a lot of likes. So she's definitely good for photos. And she's definitely good for a cuddle. You see how she moves? At least you can tell her head is like really weighted. But I love that. But I am going to say like how she has that big zip tie. I still haven't changed it though. And I'm going to show you here how... She has like the balding in the back, but that's okay because you see, see her hair quality, but I don't care because you know, every doll can't be perfect when you're in 
you know, your collecting phases and you move along through the collecting stages. So, yeah, I just, you know, to me, I don't even know if it was rooted to be like that. I guess I would have to look closer to see if there was any holes. But when you brush it down, it covers some of it. But that does happen to babies, right? When they lay on their head, they do get that balding. So, so I love it. I love her. Okay, so I'm going to change her. I'll probably put these socks back on. See how she squishes? She's such a squisher. So we're going to change her out of this. And let me see. She looks okay on the camera. Lift her up. <laughs> and she's so cute. So, you know, this might... Say you're going away and you don't want to bring like a big baby with you. And you, but you just, you know, she's a perfect size for that. And you just want to maybe cuddle with her at night or something. She's a great size to slip in a bag. So we'll put this kind of t-shirt on her. And I, I would never think of reweighting this baby. I haven't touched her. I don't plan on touching her because talking about variety again, even though I love holding my silicones, those are definitely very realistic and I love heavy babies. But she also provides some weight. She has a lot of weight, like with her head and just, I can't even explain. Some people just really know how to weight the babies in a special way. And sometimes it's hard to replicate that. I mean, yes, I could take her apart and see how they did it. But I haven't done that yet because I'm afraid of messing it up. If I disturb anything, it could change the whole weight of her you would have to take some stuff out to see what's in there. But yeah, some of the true born sculpts are really nice. I had got my other one by um, Jen at Creative Newborns. That's my second true born sculpt. And I love her too. Um, I love how she bends, but I would like her to be heavier. But again, I don't know if I should even touch her. So yes, this is a little big, but you know, tiny babies, sometimes you can't find those tiny, tiny clothes. And then if it was a real baby, obviously they would grow into it. But I have so many preemie clothes and so many newborn clothes. I just don't know why. Oh, there's only two snaps, that's nice. But like I said, I'm not home, so I just packed up a few things and I'm going home today. So she doesn't have a lot of her cutest wardrobe with her. I'm slacking on the changing of these babies. And I ask myself, why do I buy so many clothes if I'm not going to enjoy the changing process? So I want to get more into that and enjoy that part of the hobby. Oh my God, we're gonna have to stretch your leg in here. She's got such a cute face though, doesn't she? Lift up your big bum buns. Aw. Ah, how cute. Okay, see her guys. You can tell how she's just. Uh, she's just so cuddly. And I think that. Uh, I don't know, should we leave her socks off? 
we'll slip them back on to make her even more cozy. Put them right over the little leggings. Yeah. So then I'm going to comb. I, I wet my brush, so I hope there's still some water in it. So you guys can see, like, even when you do wet it, it looks cute. She's very dry. That's okay. Oh, yeah, look. See, I still got some water in my brush. I'll bring her closer so you guys could see. I'm going to turn her. Got to dry her a little. See that how it looks nice when you brush it and it stays pretty good see how it covered it so yeah I just wanted to show how that looks good right how like you know you can have these babies that aren't perfectly painted but they can serve another purpose, even if they're not like, if they're a little shiny, if their hair isn't the best. But you can fall in love with them because they offer you a cuddle factor that no other baby might be weighted that way. So this is baby girl, and I'm not even gonna put the hat on because her hair looks so cute. I'll bring this in closer. And this is little Morgan. And like, I'll show you her hands. They're very tiny. And you can see some of the shine because she doesn't have like the rough texture. See this hand? So yeah, it's not horrible painting. I, I love her and I loved her when she came to me. It's just as we continue to collect, we always are striving for the most realistic look. And I just love her body shape, how she lays. She's great for pictures and cuddly of her waiting she waited awesome so i hope everyone enjoy the video and have a great day and we'll talk to you soon bye bye comment like subscribe love you guys